We're on Status TV. Thumbs up. We are back. So we knew that this record was coming down. I personally have forgotten about it until the last couple of weeks. Hit that thumbs up. LeBron James passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the all-time scoring list. Totaling for the time being, LeBron James, 38,390 points. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar ending right at 38,387. So big corporate sports media, their strategy to continue to surround black athletes with negative energy. We're talking Skip Bayless from Fox Sports and he kind of started early trying to minimize what this meant, trying to say that it, it it wasn't as big as the Babe Ruth record and Hank Aaron and Barry Bonds. They don't even mention Barry Bonds anymore. Uh, and now that it's been hit, meaning the record, Kareem's record, LeBron has reached it and surpassed it. They are now doing what they do in big corporate sports media. They are trying to throw shade trying to make it somehow a contest between him and Jordan. That whole thing is getting real played out. Listen, there is no best basketball player. Now, Skip Bayless put out all of these stats, a bunch of nonsense. Um, He didn't put out the stats that LeBron dominates and or leads MJ in. Listen, we're not going to get into all of that, but I want you all to understand where this is coming from. Don't forget who this is, Skip Bayless. What is his purpose in sports? He plays a character. He's been known to do a lot of snitching and write a lot of controversial things. This is what keeps him alive in media. But in particular, he has honed in on LeBron James. He's doing this, in my opinion, for the entire network of those that are classified as suspected white supremacists within the sports media, within big corporate sports. They are there to assassinate the characters of black athletes no matter how that's done. LeBron James in particular is of great interest to them because of the accomplishments, because of the giving the middle finger to the NCAA coming right out of high school. Remember, they had to put parameters, they had to put brackets, so to speak, on the ability of these high school players to come out and make hundreds of millions of dollars right out of high school because of their ball skills. So they've been targeting LeBron James ever since he's come out of high school. And now that he's passed Kareem, they're turning it once again into something that it is not. So this kind of a character that people call it that Skip Bayless does. I'm not sure if it's 100% character. A lot of this is coming from the heart. This is natural jealousy. Hit that thumbs up raw status. Looking at somebody that has the ability to do what you can't do. Little white guy, big black guy and all that that has to do with it. And you'll understand where not only this video is going, but where we've been going on this channel for a long time, recognizing the white supremacist power plays within sports media, within entertainment, within politics. Hit that thumbs up. You've recently had two players leave the Brooklyn Nets and Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. And no one is questioning Team Governor Joe Tsai. We're going to talk about more about that later. But you understand how they protect their own, meaning those that seem to be in support of their agenda to assassinate the characters of athletes, in particular black athletes. Why? Because they understand that if these types of athletes get out of control with the money which they have in their opinion then they'll have more competition in society as far as commerce as far as metropolis control whether that's financial or political you can't have political without the financial so it is much deeper than sports when you look at somebody like Skip Bayless who's not only doing this for money, but there's other things involved besides money. The attack on Shannon Sharp in the last few weeks. Although some people question the validity of all of that drama, whether that was purposely done to get more views. The nasty attitude of 
baseless who has been checked before on television. So no, this is not all an act. Feeling the need to pump this non-existing feud between Jordan and LeBron. Is all part of a greater strategy. It's the money that fuels them. It's the money that makes them afraid. It's the power, the prestige, the notoriety that they hate. Why? Because it comes natural to some athletes and naturally doesn't come to other groups of people. This is Raw Status TV. Hit that thumbs up.